Hi my friends, we are starting a new series and uh, I just wanted to share with you something that I have been disposed to explore in Django for a long time, which is authentication. There is a lot of information on the internet which seems confusing at first, so I thought it would be very useful for friends who don't know at all. First of all, let's start with the basic authentication. The definition is that HTTP basic authentication is a simple challenge and response mechanism with which a server can request authentication information from a client. The client passes the authentication information to the server in an authorization header and the, the authorization information is in base64 encoding. I am sure that even if we talk until morning, it won't make any sense unless we work on an example. That's why I created a Django project. I didn't do anything extra actually, I just wrote this simple view as you can see and I didn't even do the migrations. I go back to editor, we have such an endpoint, we just direct the user in the view. I mean we, we get the user from request and then we just return to request user information. It's so simple view actually. Before examining the authentication, let's do the migrations. I will do it quickly. I'm going to create a super user. And then I run the server again. Now I will specify the permission class to allow only authenticated users to access this view. If you don't know permissions well, there are videos about it in my channel, you can, you can watch them. I need to import permission classes from decorators. And of course I also need permissions from REST framework. And then I need to add the permission decorator here. We will use permissions from is authenticated. We use the REST framework permissions. We don't need to write any custom permissions for now. I save it and then go to browser. I refresh the page. Look, it asks me for credentials to access this endpoint. So it's cool. I go back to editor and I need to import authentication classes decorator here and uh, I need to define it here let's say authentication classes and of course I need to import authentication uh, from this framework yeah, I need to determine it here authentication dot basic authentication I save it okay I go back to the browser and refresh the page look this time I have been asked for username and password. That is what basic authentication actually is. We will see in more detail in a second. So if I enter the correct username and password, I will be able to access the endpoint. So let's see that. Okay, I can access the endpoint without any problem. And if I refresh the page and or if I open a new tab, I can still access it. There is no problem. I can access the endpoint that can be only accessed by authenticated users because the username and password are stored in the active login section of Firefox. I want to show you, if you go to settings and privacy security, if you click it, can see we can if you clean the history I mean if you clean the active logins let's see I clean it and then I refresh the page then I have been asked for username and password because we cleaned the active logins here I think it is stored in the web data section of Chrome it really is between browsers but you, you can easily find out it I will write the username and password again and when we close the browser, the browser cleans the 
Active Logins part is the default behavior. Let's see what I mean. I close the browser and I will open it again. Try to go to the endpoint. So it asks for username and password. This is the basic authentication. Now it's time to understand the working logic actually. The first question is how does the browser detect that we are using basic authentication and uh, it asks us for username and password. By the way, the prompt that appeared there has absolutely not been related with Django. The information are only asked when the servers want basic authentication. We are going to understand it in a second, so I'm not going to enter anything here for now. Let's try to understand what is going on in the background. When a request is made from a client to our server, the Django server responds to it. It presents requirements to the client. I will show you the way to understand it better with Postman. Postman is really useful tool that we use to test our endpoints. You should learn how to use it. So I open a new tab here. And I go back to browser. I just want to copy the endpoint here and I will paste it to Postman. I make a request to get request and we got the same result. Authentication credentials were not provided. We got the same result actually. But our Django server sent something in the header to, to the client. So let's see what is in this header. As you can see, it contains a lot of information. The allot methods, the, the servers, the Python, the Python version and something something like that. But the part that we need to pay attention is www authenticate. The value of this key starts with basic. I want to draw your attention to the value here. What I just said, browser make a request to our server and the, the server in our case Django server presents requirements to the browser. The browser parses all the values we sent in the header and uh, if it sees basic is the value of the www authentication authenticate it asks us for username and password as default behavior now let's go back to django and uh, try to understand where this basic come from and right click basic authentication and go to definition basic authentication is extended from base authentication but there is nothing in in this video that we will talk about base authentication so i go back to basic authentication i scroll down a bit okay we have a method here called authenticate header and it just return a simple expression here i think this expression seems familiar to you don't allow Realm to, to confuse you. It is only used to give more detailed information to the user. We can even delete it. I'm going to delete it. It is optional. We don't need to write it. So only the basic is left. I save it and if I go to browser, refresh the page, it still asks me for username and password. What if I write something else instead of basic here? For example, let's say simple. I just want to return simple and go back to browser again, refresh the page. I refresh it. I refresh it many times, but nothing happens. This time, browser doesn't want anything from me. It doesn't ask for a username and password. If I go back to Postman, and uh, if I make a request, the value of www authenticate is simple. Simple expiration doesn't mean anything for the browser because what I said, browsers can detect the authentication method by checking the www authenticate key here. So if it is basic, it, it, it shows me a prompt and uh, we can write username and password. 
but if we write something that browser cannot understand like simple so it doesn't ask anything if I go back to uh, Django again and uh, if I write basic I save it face the browser so it asks me for username and password I think it can be understandable so I continue I go back to Django and I will revert okay it is better not to change source code directly if you want to make some changes to them overwrite would be better approach I save it and go back to browser again I refresh the page and I open inspect go to network part here I refresh it again I enter username and password and then I click the first row here it can be changed according to your project actually it may not be the first line we are in the request header part the browser sends these values when making a request to my Django server and the, these values are parsed by Django we will understand it in a second but I want to draw your attention to authorization there are something complex codes that start with basic but I just want to copy the complex code here and uh, I write the code 64 to Google I open page and I just want to paste what I copied from authorization and I click the code check the result here I think it is kind of surprising let's try to understand what is going on in the background when we enter a username and password it is encoded and base 64 by the browser and uh, it sent it to our Django server go back to Django Django checks if there is authorization key in the request header which is sent by browser if there is the authenticate method is triggered and uh, let's see what is going on inside the authenticate method okay the, the authenticate method is triggered it's okay and then the get authorization header method we have another method here so let's go to the method this method checks if there is a key value pair called authorization in the request header if there is it just captures it and return it here and the, in the authentic authenticate method it assign the value to, to a variable so we can just see the value just write odd odd variable in authenticate method I just save it I go back to browser and refresh the page and uh, I go back to Django check the terminal here we were able to access the same value in the form of base 64 this value contains our username and password look if we scroll down a little bit the value we just printed in the terminal is simply decoded and the, the username and password information is extracted from the value and then the authenticate credential method works and uh, it checks if there is such a user here actually that's all we can guess the rest I hope I was able to explain basic authentication in a simple way before I finish the video there is something I want to mention we just examine the basic authentication so that we, we know what basic authentication is but we are not going to use it it is very old method and it has weakness on the security side if you want to learn more you can check the developer.mozilla page I will leave the link below but to summarize the reason is the user ID and password are passed over the network as clear text the basic authentication sim is not secure HTTPS and TLC should be used with the basic authentication 
Without these additional security enhancements, basic authentication shouldn't be used to protect sensitive or valuable information. For such security reasons, basic authentication is not preferred. I will end the video here. I hope it was explanatory. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.